how I came up very quickly was by joining Facebook groups. Um, so obviously when you're in paid ones, it's better because if you pay, you pay attention and like other people have proven that they pay for things. So therefore you have more highly qualified clients. But basically what I did when I started is I, you know, just went into groups like Dustin and Stephens and posted that there's two types of posts that always work. Um, and I've actually got a lot of students who are crushing it with this approach right now. Um, and it, it does take a little bit of time to really like build some credibility around your name, mm -hmm. but here's how you do it. So there's two types of posts, right? So, um, and you're specifically in the dating niche. So do you write outside of that at all? Yeah, I do. Uh, that, that's actually something I wanted to talk to you, about, like just discuss or brainstorm as well. Um, but yeah, we can finish off this topic. Is it kind of similar to the video, Loom video you did inside the um, email secrets? I can't remember specifically what I talked about. It's a one is sharing win and second is like kind of sharing advice. I'm not sure if that's kind of similar. Similar, but yeah, this will probably, if it sounds too similar, you can stop me. But um, so there's two types of posts that work. There's obviously wins, like you mentioned. So mm -hmm. anything that you've been testing that's like really unusual, like I had a really good idea today for a client and now I'm going to test it out on a couple of other clients. And if it works really well, then I'm going to continue to um, like push that out and tell people, Hey, you might mm -hmm. want to try this. So the idea was basically um, somebody wanted me to rewrite some emails for um, an offer. And I came up with this hook that was like, um, so their original one was about like personal branding and why it's super important and how it can make you more money. But the new hook is going to be about like, hey, here's a business model that works for you, for, like specifically for people who were like a failure in school or who got fired from the corporate job or like people who are considered like failures mm -hmm. um, in real life. Here's a business model that can work for you. Because as you know, like Michael Jordan got cut from his high school basketball team. And like Walt Disney was told he was like loopy in the head when he drew Mickey Mouse, uh, stuff like that. So that's like one angle where I'm going to like make, maybe make a post about that and say like, hey, you can completely talk about how it's good to be a failure because a lot of people are a failure and mm -hmm. they think they're done and they're screwed. So I'm going to write a post, if, assuming it works, um, mm -hmm. about the, the angle and how I flipped it. Or I could write even something more tactical about like how I increased open rates by using this one word or something like that. And that gets a lot of attention because business owners are always looking for that quick hit. Like how can they test something right now that makes them a millionaire tomorrow? Now, mm -hmm. granted, that's, you can't really do that, but that's the ideal unrealistic world. So you're just trying to get as close to that as you can. Um, and if you post that, the smart people will like it. So I kind of actually did this yesterday too, without even thinking about it. As I said, a quick reminder why it's important to spend money on Google mm -hmm. ads for your own domain. I Googled Asana. Oh yeah. yeah. One day was like, <laughs> hey, we're so much better. Now all these people that like this, they're obviously going to be freelancers or business owners. And you know, some people like this guy right here seem I don't know what he does, but it says he's founder at Traffic Engine. So all I did is start a conversation with him because he commented. Like this guy looks like he has a lot of money. So I could just DM him and be like, Hey man, like yeah. thanks for the comment. That's really funny. What do you do? And I'm not pitching anything, pitching nothing. I'm just asking him what he does. Like I'm genuinely curious. Um, I could also do the same thing for the people that liked the post. You could just message a random person and say, mm -hmm. um, like, Hey, uh, I know this might be random, but you liked my post and I'm a new copywriter. Oh, I'm speaking maybe as you, not me, but I'm a new copywriter. And I just want to let you know, I really appreciate that you read my post. It means a lot. Thank you. And then a lot of those people will reply and then you just, you know, talk to them and see what happens. Like mm -hmm. Blake in the group, he did this the other day and he has like 30 DMs. He told me that he has to like reply to and like John Caprani hit him up and is going to introduce him to somebody and like somebody oh, else nice. an intro and all this stuff. And he hasn't even like done all the messaging yet. I'm like, hey, you should get one to two clients out of that one post you made. Um, Who did that? Blake? Yeah. So Blake did the other type of post. So I showed you the tactical one. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me try to find. 
his. His was the relatable angle. So you want to do either tactical or uh, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that one. Kind of like vulnerable to post, right? <laughs> yeah. So all you're doing on this one is you're saying like, you're, you're saying something that's relatable to copywriters or business owners that you're really struggling with right now. Um, and it's no different than writing emails, right? Like you start off with a punch in the gut. Um, to somebody asked him, hey, how's that writing thing going? And like, you know, he hadn't really made any money from it at all. Um, he's operating at a huge loss right now and started to have all these doubtful thoughts and all this stuff um, with all these like big problems and kind of had somewhat of a conclusion to it. Um, just about like not quitting and being proud of yourself and like continuing to go on. Like that's super relatable. Like the number of people who read that and said, I'm either there right now or I was there not long ago is extremely high. So this is why I got, you know, over a hundred. <laughs> and I know there's yeah. something in, yeah, right here. Are you me? I'm three years older than you. and I'm basically in the same boat. That's how you know your copy hits. And that's the same thing as memes. Like when people see that and it's like relatable, like hashtag relatable, like, that's what a good piece of copy will do. Mm -hmm. And so whether you go the tactical route or the relatable route, um, you just need to message every single person that, that engages with the post and just thank them for reading, um, you know, particularly if they liked and then give them, you know, something more specific if they commented and just shoot them a quick message. And that's, that's super sick. Yeah. I mean, I, I knew, I knew like from before. So I just like, chat like shoot a message that hey well that's a great post <laughs> but i didn't know that was uh that was there's a lot of reasoning behind it 100 percent, man and bo's one of my other students too i think he's i think he's older than me too i think he's probably around like 30 or so but he wrote a post a while back february 1st um and he kind of used the contradiction angle like i'm not going to tell you how to make 20k a month write a copy because i don't know but and, and you might have seen this on my video perhaps but Basically, he was BSing his way through a bunch of Zoom calls and trying to say he had like results that he didn't have. And eventually he got tired of lying. So he said, to be honest, I haven't made a dollar from copywriting. If you're looking for experience, that's not me. But if you're looking for work ethic, that's mm -hmm. me. And they're like, um, okay, we like that. But what do you charge? And he's like, I have no clue, but somebody told me $100 per email. So <laughs> how about that? And they ended up paying 125 bucks per email Nice. Or you for 500 bucks. And um, it get, look at the engagements that this got. So I told him too, I said, hey, message every single one of those people. And I guarantee that you're going to find one or two clients. Nice. Uh, I have I have an idea right now <laughs> that yeah. I can post. All you got to do, man, is use this as your friend. I know a lot of people hate phones. And I kind of do too. For, you know, the notifications are distracting. They pull you away from mm -hmm. stuff. But let me show you this. So this is the work part of my phone. There's literally one app up there in the corner. Mm -hmm. And you know, you open it and it's like got a, a few things in it that I need to message people for my business. That's it. Yeah. I don't have text or anything. But what I do have photos, camera, and notes. And the reason is because when I'm walking around, if I see something that's like relatable or noteworthy, I'm gonna make a note or take a picture of it. And yeah. all of a sudden now I have a bank of endless ideas that I can write about that are either relatable or tactical, just like these two posts mm -hmm. that I And That's super sick. Thank you. And uh, obviously I don't do a lot of posting these days in the groups because I'm, you know, I'm not really looking for a lot of clients. I have a couple of my own offers, but mm -hmm. it helps through emails too. So same thing with your clients. Like if you're running out of ideas, then you just have an idea bank. And all of a sudden, when on those days when you're sitting there and you're like, oh, I have no clue what to write about today, and you've been staring at a blank screen for 10 minutes, you just pull out your phone and look. Because past you did something to help future you by taking notes or pictures or whatever it might be. So um, that's what I would do. And that's how I got clients and I got started. And, you know, four to seven K a month right now, you're not that far off from like 15. I know it sounds like a big jump. And I know a lot of this stuff sounds like, kind of complicated because it, there's an element of virality in it, which is not always in your control. Um, but as your name grows in these groups, it mm -hmm. like the interest in you compounds, it keeps going up. So like at the beginning, maybe you make a nice post and it goes up a little and a little and a little and you're like, oh, is this worth it? And then you get that one post that just whoosh, goes like that because mm -hmm. the more people see your name and the more you message them or, or talk to them, the more they like you, 
and then yeah. their friends start liking you. And it just, that's how I built up my name in these groups. Um, awesome. just by understanding the long game because people who are not willing to take a little bit of time in the short term because it seems like a waste are the people who are not going to win in the long term. Um, and the more people that I talk to about that, like I just paid Sam Ovens 30 grand to join his mastermind in addition to Copy Accelerator. So I'm paying 60K a year mastermind. And mm -hmm. every single person that I talk to who's smart, like uh, Sam Ovens, Alex Becker, and Stefan, and yeah. like all these people, they play the long game. And once you understand that and you put in the time right now, like that stuff compounds, man, it's crazy. And the people who aren't willing to do that, those are the people that, that fall off and they move on to something else in a month. And then that doesn't work. And then that doesn't work and that doesn't work. And they stay that way in their whole lives. And like, I know people who are 50 trying to figure it out and they've been at it since they were 18. How old are you? 24. Okay, so you're in a position right now where you have so much more time. And if you just stick to one thing, like you're gonna have so much more success than by you know trying a million different things. I'm not saying that you were about to do that, but um, yeah. yeah, I, I like really listen to win right now. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I see that especially with just like because I saw how how much how many engagement that like um, Blake got. I was like. Damn, that's a. I, all I thought it was like, bro, that's a great post, but I didn't know that's like, there's a lot going to it. That's the and, sign behind it, man. Like, as qualitative as copywriting is, there's also a quantitative side. Like, if you take enough at bats and you take mm -hmm. an, you write enough posts, and yeah, some of yeah. them bomb and some of them suck, but you you only need like one out of every five or ten to like go off, and all of a sudden, you know, your name is big. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's all it takes. Like, there's a the math to it. Like the RMBC with Stefan, like his method where it's like, you know, you research your audience so you know what's actually relatable. And then you kind of come up with a mechanism or like a big idea of the post. And then you kind of like think about like, okay, here's the brief. How am I going to map out this post? And then you write the copy. It, it's, it's a formula. It really is. It's something that like most people think can't be broken down into a science, but it can. And if you follow the rules of science, Things happen. If you don't, yep. nothing yep. happens.